In yesterday's video, I showed you how to conduct sentiment analysis using Twitter, Google Docs, Zapier, and Mechanical Turk. In today's video, I'll show you how to analyze the results from Mechanical Turk in Excel. So here are the results from Mechanical Turk in this CSV file. And you can see that five users ranked each tweet. I then calculated the average and also the rounded average to the nearest whole number. Finally, I used the VLOOKUP to label each tweet positive, negative, or neutral. So now let's add a few graphs so we can better visualize the results. So first let's turn this into a table and to do that you just hit control T. So now I'm going to create a frequency distribution and a histogram. So insert pivot table. Change this to count. Pull it down again. And here you can, this is called a frequency distribution. And you can see how many of each ranking there are. So for negative 2, there's 360. For negative 1, there's 3,804, and so forth. So let me go ahead and create a table. So this is a histogram. I'm going to go ahead and hide all values. And you can see that the majority of the data is falling between negative 1 and 0. So now let's see how the data looks when I create the same graph using the average numbers. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, insert, pivot table. Change this to count. I'm going to go ahead and insert a chart. And again, you can see that the majority of the data is falling between negative 1 and 0. So I like to look at the percentage of each rank versus all the ranks to get a better sense of where the data is falling. So let me go ahead and do that. Go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Change this to a percentage, put two decimal places so you can see that looks like about 80% of the data is falling between negative 1 and 0. So most people think that he is doing an okay job to a slightly bad job. And again, this is on the day of the presidential debates. So finally, I want to create a pie chart to visualize the relationship between the three categories positive negative and neutral so again I'll insert a pivot table just go ahead and toss it right there definitions down there 
grounded. Change this to count again. Insert pie shards. So you can see that 40% of the tweets were negative, 39% neutral, and 17% positive. So with enough data, you can analyze the averages per day and eventually compare it to the approval ranking to see the variance. So from a business standpoint, if you conducted sentiment analysis on a product, you could see how your product or service fared during various marketing campaigns, whenever there's product changes or service changes, and you could really get a feeling for how people are responding to those changes. All right, thanks for watching.